What if I told you that China is actually benefiting from the US sanctions designed to prevent the country from accessing critical semiconductor technology? These sanctions have forced the country to turn to local companies to develop their own chips, and the industry is rapidly expanding. Just recently, Chinese researchers created an AI chip 3,000 times faster than NVIDIA's A100 AI chip. But there are a few problems. What are these problems and how does China intend to solve them? Stick around to find out more. Restrictions on Semiconductor Technology One of the biggest challenges China is facing because of the current US ban is limited access to essential semiconductor manufacturing equipment. Companies like LAM Research, ASML and KLA produce the most advanced equipment needed for semiconductor manufacturing. However, due to the current sanctions imposed by the US, China's access to this equipment has been significantly reduced. The limitation slows down China's ability to compete on a level ground in the global semiconductor market. But that's not all. In addition to the restrictions on manufacturing equipment, China also faces hindrance in acquiring advanced AI chips from international markets. The United States has imposed restrictions that directly affect the sales of such chips to China. Prior to this, NVIDIA dominated China's AI market with over 90% market share. However, these restrictions have prompted other tech companies, including Huawei, MetaX, and Alibaba, as well as numerous other startups, to enter the competition. Despite these challenges, Chinese companies are making significant progress in designing and manufacturing their own AI chips. The Rise of Chinese AI Chips while the US intended to slow China's growth in artificial intelligence technology by placing restrictions on semiconductor technology, these restrictions have paved the way for the rise of Chinese AI chips. Companies like Huawei are striving to gain a significant share of the Chinese AI market. Although they face several challenges related to chip design, software development, and manufacturing, these companies are making steady progress to overcoming these obstacles and are producing powerful new generation AI chips. Researchers at the University of Science and Technology China have developed an AI chip called Excel that is 3,000 times faster than NVIDIA's A100 chip. This impressive development is based on the concept of photonic computing, which leverages light for both data extraction and calculations as opposed to traditional semiconductor chips that rely on electricity. Axel's power lies in its ability to harness the speed and energy efficiency of light. During tests conducted by the researchers, the chip was able to perform image recognition tasks at a speed 3,000 times faster than NVIDIA's A100 while consuming a tiny fraction of the energy, an astonishing 4 million times less. To put this into perspective, Axel can execute 74.8 quadrillion operations per second while using only a single watt of power. The researchers say that the chip could be used for a variety of AI applications, including natural language processing, autonomous driving, and image recognition. Problems faced by Chinese AI chip manufacturers While they're gaining momentum, Chinese AI chip manufacturers are currently facing three major challenges in the development of AI chips chip design, manufacturing, and software stack. Though these companies can attract talent chip designers, it's also essential to use electronic design automation, or EDA tools, for modern chip design. Most Chinese chip manufacturers currently use Synopsys and Cadence tools also used by American companies, but are now hindered by restrictions. However, Huawei is developing its own in-house EDA software that promises a potential shift towards self-sufficiency. The process of developing AI chips has evolved significantly over the years. Gone are the days of manual circuit drawing. Electronic design automation tools are not essential for chip design. EDA tools perform complex calculations to optimize the placement of transistors and logic cells in a chip, resulting in improved metrics such as speed, area, and power consumption. Chinese tech companies depend on Synopsys and Cadence tools. However, the development of in-house EDA software by companies like Huawei marks a step towards self-reliance. Huawei's AI Chip Huawei's 910 GPU is currently the most powerful AI GPU in China. It offers some really impressive specifications, including 512 teraflops at 8-bit precision. When you compare Huawei's 910 GPU with NVIDIA's H20 GPU, 
It outperforms that of NVIDIA in terms of teraflops at 8-bit precision. However, it's worth noting that these specifications are provided at a 1 GHz clock, and the flexibility of clock speeds should be considered when assessing a chip's performance. Although Huawei's GPU has a lot to offer, we cannot simply concede that it is superior to that of NVIDIA. With the current sanctions in place, the Huawei 910 GPU is in high demand in China. Many Chinese tech companies are rushing to get their hands on it. Companies like Alibaba, BYU and Tencent are eagerly waiting for their orders to be fulfilled. However, fulfilling this high demand has become a huge challenge for SMIC, the company responsible for manufacturing these GPUs. SMIC's limited production capacity and the current need for Huawei to step into the AI hardware landscape make the whole situation very complex. Even with these challenges, SMIC is investing in the expansion of its factories. With time, it's anticipated that the production bottleneck will be addressed. Another major challenge faced by Chinese AI chip manufacturers is fabrication. SMIC's factory, despite its sheer size and capabilities, is still limited in certain aspects. While the company already manufactures 7NM and 5NM chips using older immersion-deep ultraviolet machines from ASML, it does not have access to ASML's advanced EUV machines. To keep up with the growing demand, SMIC is exploring other lithography techniques, including the use of particle accelerators. Of course, developing alternative techniques comes with its own challenges. But it is possible, as demonstrated by the complex development of EUV technology by ASML. The lack of high bandwidth memory production is another issue faced by Chinese AI chip manufacturers. Memory bandwidth is a major bottleneck in GPU performance, and at the moment, China primarily relies on imported high bandwidth memory. However, the country is making efforts to address this issue. CXMT Memory Technology had purchased older memory manufacturing equipment from Applied Materials and LAM Research, ramping up production. As the nation gains the capability to produce its own high bandwidth memory, the bottleneck in GPU performance will gradually disappear. The importance of software stack. Building a software stack is essential for making use of the architecture of AI chips. NVIDIA's success in the AI hardware market is all thanks to the development of its software stack, including CUDA. By optimizing both hardware and software, the tech giant has achieved efficient processing of deep learning algorithms. Chinese AI chip manufacturers like Huawei face a significant challenge in developing their own software stacks from scratch for their new AI chips. Tech giants like MetaX aim for compatibility with NVIDIA's CUDA platform, while others like Huawei and Byron are working on developing their own software stack. If Chinese AI chip manufacturers are ever to compete effectively with NVIDIA, then they have no option but to develop their own software stack. NVIDIA's competition in China's AI market While NVIDIA currently dominates the AI hardware market in China, several other tech companies are fighting to take that position from the tech giant. Byron, a highly financially backed startup, has developed multiple GPUs and continues to raise substantial funding. However, the company faced significant setbacks when TSMC suspended the production of its GPUs due to export regulations. Similarly, other Chinese companies, such as Intellifusion and Unisound, are entering the market with their AI chips. While these startups are making waves in the industry, they may face challenges in manufacturing capabilities, as advanced packaging techniques such as chip on wafer on substrate, COWOS, are not yet available in China. The Future of Chinese AI Chips What does the future look like for Chinese AI chips? Even with the challenges faced by Chinese AI chip manufacturers in chip design, manufacturing and software development, they are making remarkable progress. With time and investment, these companies will likely overcome these problems. The growth of the country's manufacturing capabilities and efforts to develop domestic AI hardware will inevitably lead to substantial advancements in the industry. But that's not all. China's ability to train AI models on domestically designed and manufactured hardware will be a significant stepping stone for the country. With continued support and development, China has the potential to become a major player in the global AI market. While the restrictions on semiconductor technology placed by the US were designed to slow down China's AI growth, it has instead fostered the growth of Chinese AI chips as an alternative to NVIDIA's dominance in the market. Yes, Chinese companies are indeed facing some serious problems, 
but they are also making considerable progress in overcoming these challenges. With the right investments and advancements in production capabilities, China has the potential to become self-sufficient in AI chip production. It's an exciting time for the AI metaverse as we witness the rise of China's AI hardware and the reshaping of the global AI hardware market. What do you think about the rise of China's AI chips? Will they beat NVIDIA's GPU technology? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell to get alerted anytime we post amazing videos like this. See you in the next one.